Hi everyone. I am Eastbin Sarah. I will be your host for this presentation. It is my pleasure to be at your service. When it comes to enterprise IT solutions and systems, there are several stages that customers may encounter as they move from initial awareness to purchasing and implementing a product. It's important for both customers and vendors to understand these stages and their differences to ensure that expectations are met and the implementation is successful. One common term that is often used interchangeably, but actually means different things, is demo. A demo is a brief overview of a product's features and capabilities followed by a live presentation of the product going through various tasks to provide the customer with a practical understanding of how the product works. Sometimes, it is just a pre-recorded video that provides an overview of the product. Demos are typically the first time a customer sees the product in action and can last from 1 to 2 hours. They can be customized to focus on features important to the customer and may also be recorded for later viewing. However, since they are pre-recorded, they don't provide an opportunity for questions or customization of the presentation. A trial is an opportunity for the customer to implement the product in their own environment, with or without assistance. The goal is to give the customer hands-on experience with the product and to validate the features and capabilities presented in the demo. Trials typically last between 14 to 30 days and may involve an agreement to return the evaluation equipment or to purchase it at the end of the trial. However, some products may only have a three-day trial period. A proof of concept POC, or proof of value POV, is a more formalized version of a trial that involves a more targeted and guided implementation of the product in the customer's environment. The goal is to provide a high level of understanding of how the product may function for a specific use case and to give the vendor an opportunity to more closely align the product's capabilities with the customer's needs. The customer and vendor should agree on the specific objectives and outcomes expected, as well as the responsibilities of each party. A POC slash POV can vary in length, depending on the objectives agreed to at the outset. However, great care should be taken to conclude the POC slash POV as agreed. It is usually referred to as a technical evaluation with commitment, since there are expectations for sales in pre-agreed business value upon the POC slash POV being demonstrated. If the customer is not really making a commitment just after the POC slash POV, they should not enter into it and should ask for a demo or special trial. A pilot provides more focus and structure than a POC slash POV and is usually preceded by some level of commitment by the customer and vendor through the purchase of a limited amount of the product suitable for testing against samples of the proposed solution set. The understanding is that the customer has made a decision to purchase the product pending the successful outcome of the pilot. The pilot can also be used to measure the real benefits of implementing the product and to collect data for developing and executing the implementation project. It is typically used for very large-scale rolling of the project and for multiple-year contract commitments. The project is typically done after a purchase has been made and is a collaboration of the customer and vendor involved to fully implement the product in the customer's environment. The project has some of the same characteristics and methodologies employed in the POC slash POV in pilot engagements, desired outcome, agreement on responsibilities, defined start and end dates. However, the project adds one more key element successful handover of the project to an operational team. Unlike the previous engagements, the project costs incurred by the vendor are typically paid by the customer as part of the overall solution purchase. In conclusion, it's important for both customers and vendors to understand the differences between these stages. We hope by providing the various explanations of those terms, you may better understand now what it means for the demo, trial, POC slash POV, pilot, project, since it involves various scales of resources and commitment on both ends. If you need assistance, feel free to contact eSpin. 
Thank you for joining and listening to our presentation. For inquiries, feel free to email us at info at eSpinCorp.com or visit our website. Thank you again.